Hi, my name is Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Omara View Full Face Mask by Philips Respironics. It's a hybrid uh, full face mask or a, a less intrusive full face mask um, because it's a cradle full face versus going over the top bridge of the nose. Before we get started though, please like the video if you think it's useful and check out our channel as well. We have done reviews on Dream Wisp, the Wisp, the Resmen masks, Resmen machines, everything. It's all concise. The whole channel is just based on reviewing and looking at CPAP products. So if you want kind of a database for all CPAP products for your buying decisions, consider subscribing. Now let's get started. So like I said, the Amara View mask is a hybrid full face mask, which means it's covering the mouth as well as the nose, but it's not going over top of the nose as you might be familiar with. For example, here we have a Resmed F20. It's going over the bridge of the nose there. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a cradle going underneath and we'll explore that a little bit in a minute. But it's awesome for you know people like this who might wanna do some light reading. They have reading glasses on. It, the reading glasses aren't interfered with the full face mask and it's allow him to you know read in comfort and have his uh, partner rest on his shoulder comfortably. Uh, it's a very cute image. Thank you, Phyllis Respironics, for that. Now diving into the mask, we have some nice headgear here. I really do like the headgear and the soft materials from the Phillips mask. Not saying that the Redmond masks are bad, but I've always liked the mask from Philips. Um, we have a top headgear here where we can tighten it, okay? Um, the back going to the back of the crown there, we have Philips Respironics logo, and you can see this cross section is really kind of hugging the back of the neck area. Um, this is giving it a quite snug and, and secure fit. Going around the front, um, we see that we have adjustment straps up here as well. And then uh, right here we have the magnetic clips. So it just snaps on like that really easily. Now close up, you might be looking at this and being like, wow, the magnet snaps on so easily. It must be a strong magnet. Uh, you are correct. It is a very strong magnet. Hence the voluntary recall from Philips Respironics for a mask like this. If you haven't heard about it, basically the masks, uh, many Philips masks are affected by this and it's the really strong magnets they use for the clips. The magnets have a magnetic field of I believe like six inches in terms of the radius. So you can't have certain medical devices such as a pacemaker within six inches from that clip. So as you can imagine, if I had a pacemaker down here and my head's kind of sinking in the pillow, that's less than six inches, hence the recall. So that may affect you if you have things like a pacemaker or other uh, medical implants. Uh, if you do not, you probably don't have to worry about that voluntary recall. But nevertheless, the magnets are a fantastic feature. The older version, you might see some older reviews of this on YouTube, just have a clip here that you have to tie this guy down. Uh, the magnets do make it a more convenient fit. At the front, we have this quick release tube here, so we can just pinch that and remove it if we're going to the washroom and then put it back on just like so and re-enter your sleep. The mask is a front mounted mask. So if you're laying on your side facing the machine or for example, you know, you're facing upwards, it won't really affect you much. But if you start to roll like this, you can see that a mask with a front mount can be annoying and cumbersome. It can tangle up easily. Uh, this would be the opposite of many other masks such as top mounted masks. Many nasal masks come in top mounted masks. Um, and then as you, for example, sleep, you basically turn and the hose would stay in one place. So that's something that you might want to look into. If you're looking into that, um, if this is your first time with a CPAP machine, you might want to look at whether you want a front mounted mask. But generally, if you're going to get a full face mask like this, it's going to be uh, front mounted. Most full face masks are going to be front mounted. Okay, now looking along this tube here, this tube does come with the mask itself. And then we have the connection port right to uh, AirSense 11 right here. And there's a bit of a, like a, just a swivelly thing, a spinny thing on the end of this. So when you plug it in, it does swivel very freely, which is nice and does minimize tube drag. As you can see at the front, there's an exhalation port there as well as some more vents up top. This vent here does close when there's airflow going towards you. And then as you exhale, uh, it opens to allow that air out. Now just quickly taking off this mask, we can undo these magnets here and open it up. So as you can see, we have the space for your nose as well as the space for your mouth. So most full face masks will go over your, over your nose and your mouth. 
And what can happen there is although it creates a very nice seal, you might have red areas and red bumps uh, over time uh, over on the top of your nose. Whereas with this guy here, because it's a lot more minimal, it's just your mouth and just the bottom of your nose. So it looks like this. Okay. So as you can see, there's gonna be no irritation on the sides of the nose, no irritation at the top of the nose. And all this area on the top of the face is quite free, free to read, watch TV, wear glasses, what have you. Now the downside of this mask, which I've noticed, is that the sides here are quite hard. Basically there's a really soft layer of silicone and like less than an eighth of an inch below it is basically a harder uh, kind of silicone plastic rubber thing before you get to the hard, hard like acrylic. So you have this really soft layer, which is only is very thin, and then it goes straight to this harder section, and then the hard, hard section. So what I find is that this mask, if I'm wearing it and really having my head, you know, push against the pillow, the sides here actually kind of jet into my cheek a little bit. And I mean a little bit. Some reviewers I've seen online say that they can't sleep with this mask because of that. For me, I think it's comfortable, um, but it's not my cup of tea. I'm generally more of a nasal mask user only. Um, but for some people, that is something that you might want to note. Now, that being said, traditional full face mask like the F20 here that I kind of showed you with the full covering is going to give you perhaps redness and irritation at the top of the nose, like I mentioned, along this part here. So if you are a full face mask user, I do recommend if you're having this issue just to get two different masks and switch them out two days with one, two days with the other. That way it allows your cheeks or the top of the nose to kind of heal um, instead of getting like rubbed and rubbed and rubbed constantly every single night the same, same way. So having two masks um, is a great way to kind of alleviate that. And of course, because of that, if you're using the mask less frequently, you don't have to replace them you know, as much. It's not like a double a cost thing. Uh, the cost should be relatively same because you don't have to replace them as much, um, but you just have basically more comfort throughout your sleep. And that's something that you might want to keep in mind if you are a near CPAP user and you're kind of debating on which full face mask to get. Just piggybacking on that point as well, if you are a first time CPAP user, you might want to start with something minimal like a Dreamwear mask, which is just under the nose, because you may find the adjustment to CPAP therapy a little easier. However, if you're known to breathe out of your mouth and nose or your mouth uh, more often, then of course you have to go with a full face mask. Now putting the mask back on my head guy here, as you can see, it's pretty easy. We take the mask, we just put it underneath the nose. It is nice and secure. Then we bring the rest of the mask down and around and then clip in those magnets. Because of the magnets, you shouldn't have to adjust the Velcro very often. You should be able to take this off and keep everything adjusted the same way throughout the night and basically only take the Velcro apart when you're doing a thorough cleaning. To fit this mask correctly, you want the top band slightly behind the middle of your head. Uh, you adjust that snug, but not overly tight. And that's gonna adjust basically these two as well, as well as the whole mask backing as well. And you want to kind of adjust the top and the bottom to your liking, ensuring that there's a nice comfortable seal around your nose and mouth. It's important to not over tighten anything. It's not really necessary to over tighten everything. You just need to create an airtight seal around that really soft silicone. Really cranking it down um, doesn't necessarily create a better seal. That's when you start to bend maybe the harder plastic and you actually could have a leak there. So you want it snug enough where all the soft silicone is going around your mouth and creating a seal, but not overly tight where you feel any pinching or cramming into your skin. Now let me take this guy off and show you what it looks like on me. So if you're getting this from the package, you wanna loosen everything up so you can easily put it on. Okay, there it goes on. Now I've seen some reviews where the top here is kind of jamming into the ear. For me, it's not really an issue. My ears, I guess, are a little bit lower than some people and it's not cramming into any ear there. And the bottom is comfortable around the back of the neck. So for me, I find this mask creates quite a good seal actually around the nose and around the sides of my mouth. Um, I think that is because I generally have 
a more flatter face with a flatter nose and a wider small nose and i feel like that is the most optimal kind of face for masks like this because the top here doesn't really have a lot of give if i had a really pointy and long nose um, perhaps my nostrils wouldn't fit this pocket here and my nose could jet out into the pocket creating kind of a warped thing so if you have more of a rounded nose um, and like a flatter face, I think that this mask is, would be great. If you're looking for a hybrid full face mask, um, if you have a really long pointy nose, I could see that could be a little bit of an issue, but that is certainly kind of my hypothesis. For me, I find that this is a great mask. It seals really well. Uh, I find that the quality of the materials is really awesome. And I do like the fact that it's not covering my nose while it's still being a full face mask. So that concludes a little look of the Amar View. I hope this gave you a little bit of information to see if this mask is right for you. If you want to check out our other mask, check out our website at thecpapstore.ca.